All right, guys, today we are timing a 78 351 Windsor. Um, it's pretty simple. The Shilton's manual says it's supposed to be at 14 degrees before top dead center. So first thing you gotta do is mark on your harmonic balancer where 14 degrees before top dead center is. I just use a little piece of chalk, works perfectly, nice and bright. Um, then you need to take the vacuum line off your distributor and plug that so there's no vacuum leaks. Um, you can hook up your timing light here. This is key, you really need one of those. And then hook it up to the battery. And then finally, you have to loosen the nut and or the bolt on the distributor and just loosen it a little bit. You want the distributor to stay in place, but you want to be able to move it a little bit, which is gonna be how we dial in the timing. Then you basically turn your truck on and uh, get it to warm up. And once it's warm, you can start timing it. The timing light will flash and you're looking for the mark on the harmonic balancer to line up with the indicator that you'll be you'll be able to see it. You can't see it very well here, but you'll be able to see it. And in order to advance or retard the timing, you twist this back or forth. I believe the Shilton's manual says to advance it, it's clockwise, um, but you'll get the feel for it when you're moving it. Also, they suggest to use a hammer or something to knock this to move it side to side because if you put your hand on it with thousands of volts going through it, you might get shocked. So we're gonna turn the truck on and get it warmed up and then get this thing timed. All right, so we got it running right now. And our timing light's flashing. You can see the mark right there and the indicator. So in order to change when that happens, take your hammer and you just give that a tap. That pushes it over. And you can see now, you can't see the mark. So we're going to go back a little bit. Alright, there it is. That looks pretty good. We might go back one more. Just to it. And then we'll be good to go. Okay, so once you got it timed up, then turn your truck off and don't forget to tighten the distributor back down, reconnect your vacuum hose, and you should be good to go.